Hello, my name is Ang Siyan, a PhD student from National Chenggong University. Today, I would like to talk about a realistic phantom for ultrasound-guided central venous cannulation. Central venous cannulation, CVC, is a procedure associated with risk of complication such as pneumatorous, artery puncture, catheter malposition, and bloodstream infection. It is recommended to operate with the aid of ultrasound to reduce its operational risk. Therefore, ultrasound-guided central venous cannulation has become standard to care. Ultrasound imaging allows the CVC procedure to be complete much safer than a standard blind landmark approach. However, the traditional method of procedural teaching has been widely applied in medical practice instead of simulation training. Issues such as difficulty in evaluating the effectiveness of clinical skill training, patient respect, and medical ethics may arise. To enhance medical personnel skill in performing challenging ultrasound-guided CVC, an adult-sized CVC phantom that simulated the human head to the chest with a detachable CVC operational part was proposed in this study to provide medical personnel with realistic needle insertion, haptic feedback, and ultrasound imaging. The detachable CVC operational part could be customized to simulate different patient conditions, such as adult patient with a normal standard size of vascular, the elderly with collapsed vascular, children with a smaller diameter of vascular, vascular fibrosis patient with hardening of vascular, and obese patient with thick fat tissue. Next, we will move into the method part. Firstly, the liquid and powder component of IEC tissue mimicking material in Table 1 were mixed and heated to produce fat and muscle mimicking tissue sample. Young modulus of the TMM sample was then characterized through an indentation test at room temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Acoustic parameters such as the speed of sound and attenuation coefficient of the sample are measured through the acoustic testing system. Finally, a simple configuration of the CVC operational part was produced, which consists of simulated blood vessel and bone that were embedded inside the fat and muscle mimicking materials. Two water-filled strip ship balloons were used to simulate the jugular wind and carotid artery. The simulated blood vessel were attached to a clavicle. The mixture of silicon liquid was poured into the container to simulate the base for which CVC operational part will be placed on. After the silicon layer was cured, the muscle mimicking material was prepared and poured on the top of the silicon layer until the simulated blood vessel and clavicle were fully covered. Lastly, a final thin layer of fat mimicking material was prepared and poured into the container. The final prototype of the CVC operational part was shown in the upper right hand corner of the screen. As a conclusion, in this stage of prototype development, the mechanical and acoustic property of fat and muscle mimicking tissue were emphasized to provide medical personnel with realistic haptic feedback and ultrasound imaging during needle insertion. The speed of sound and attenuation coefficient of the TMM used in our CVC phantom were nearly fit into the range of real tissue. Young modulus ratio of muscle to fat mimicking tissue, which was 4.5 times was nearly the same as young modulus ratio of real tissue, which was 5.1 times. Lastly, ultrasound image as sagittal and transverse view of the internal jugular wind in the real case were also able to be duplicated by our CVC phantom. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.